Hey guys, it's Mike here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be carrying on the FL Studio Basic series. The first video was customizing FL Studio. This one's going to cover some basic and more advanced shortcut keys. And the next video is going to be about workflow. And to summarize all these videos, I'm also going to do a collaboration with another channel, which will just be um, a how to get started in FL Studio video. So just covering opening the program, navigating the software and how to sort of start jotting down and recording your first song. Before we start, I just want to say thank you for helping us get to 15,000 subscribers. To give back to you guys, we're going to be doing some kit giveaways. So stay tuned for those. We have recently changed the name of both this channel and our artist page. And this is just to have a more sort of professional look. So don't worry, the videos will be staying much the same and hopefully getting even even more professional and higher quality, but um, we just changed the name because we just thought it was more fitting with what we do. So just to get started with this video, the first shortcuts I'm going to show you are just sort of navigation shortcuts. So they're not necessarily going to help you place things and color things and make things look good, but what they do is they help you navigate between the panels. So these buttons up at the top here are what you might be using to flick between the playlist, the step sequencer, the piano roll, your browser, the mixer. But if you look beside them, in the top corner, there is a little key, and it's F5, F6, F8, F9. And these are the keys you need to press on your keyboard to bring up these windows. This, this button up here is like typing keyboard to piano keyboard. If you have that selected, a lot of your shortcuts won't work, so make sure that that is not selected. Then if you just press F5 on your keyboard, you see that the playlist appears and disappears. F6 will bring up the step sequencer. F7 brings up the piano roll for the instrument that you're currently using. F8 will pull up a plugin picker. So if I have F6 open for the step sequencer and F8 open, and say I wanted a piano, I could go all, I could find a piano, FL keys, and drag and drop it into the playlist. Saved yourself quite a lot of time. It is quicker than going insert and trying to find it on here or in your other plugin folder. If you press Control and F8, it will pull up all the sounds in your project. Which can be a pretty nifty way of seeing what you've got in your project and what you can use next. And then F9 pulls up the mixer. So the main ones you need to concern yourself with is F5 to pull up the playlist, F6 to pull up the step sequencer, F7 to bring the piano roll for the current instrument, and F9 to pull up your mixer. The reason I've learned these ones is because when I started I was on a laptop with a really small screen, and to do things accurately I really needed to use the whole screen, so I just flicked between panels and I didn't usually have more than one or two open at a time because I just didn't have the screen space. If you have two screens, I'd recommend separating the panels out, or if you have a very large screen, like I'm just using my old TV, so if you have a large screen like this, you're in a little bit of luck because you can more easily arrange your panels so you could have like you know your step sequencer open and locked away over here you can have your playlist open and you can still see most of your mixer those are the shortcuts that i would recommend getting acquainted with first the other shortcuts i'm going to show you just focus mainly on the playlist here so i will skip ahead and show you some more advanced ones but for now we're just going to do the basic things for instance if you wanted to copy a pattern across you can just select it by holding control and clicking and dragging left clicking and dragging as many as you want and it's just like any other program you just press control C and control V and it will paste this pattern in and then you can drag it wherever you like if you press control C then control B it will paste it will paste the pattern into the next the next bar that's available to you just like that I find that this helps when you're trying to arrange your song for the first time and you're just trying to jot it down very quickly, just copying patterns across before you delve into each of the patterns and start changing them and making them unique. So changing between the different tools, you can see at the top here you have your slice tool, you have your selection tool, your zoom tool, your draw tool, and all of these again, they have a little letter beside them in the top. There's a P, B, T, C. What you can do is just use these keys. So for instance, I'm on the pen tool right now, but if I want to go to the cut tool, I just press C and it's there. I don't need to go to the top and select it. And I can just press P to go back and paint in the pattern. Or I can go to B and paint in the pattern like that with a paintbrush. So those are shortcut keys that help you minimize the number of times you have to go away from your workflow. Often if you find yourself moving away from your workflow as in having to go up to a bar 
or another one and select a different view. These are where shortcut keys come in very handy because if you don't ever have to use those, you don't interrupt your workflow, but I'm gonna talk more about that in the specific workflow video. Say you wanted to clean up some automation or some pattern clips at the end of your song. You could cut them, go to your draw tool and delete them by right clicking, or you can go into your cut tool and right click at the start and it will be red. If you hold shift, you can cut more accurately like that, but it'll be red and this red line will cut away the shorter side, right clicking, deletes them. And that can just save you another, having to hit another shortcut key and deleting again. There are some shortcut keys that help you navigate around the playlist much easier, because you'll find that what I used to do is I always used to have to go to these top bars and scroll across and to zoom in and out, go to this box to zoom up and down, just like that. But there are shortcut keys that help you achieve this. If you're zoomed in on your project and you're not entirely sure where you are, if you hold control and right click, it will take you to the full size of your project. So you can see this is everything in my project is now selected. If you wish to zoom in on one particular section, if you hold control and right click and drag, for instance, I'm gonna select this drum section here, it makes that the full size of the screen. And then pressing control and right click again will just take you all the way out. More zooming functions. If you hold alt and scroll up and down, it will expand all of your channels vertically. If you hold control and scroll in, it will move all your channels horizontally so that you're closer. So these two together can help you navigate like this. If you are within your project, if you hold down the middle scroll button, so you just give it one click and hold, this hand appears and you can click and drag to navigate around your project. If you double click the scroll wheel, you can then expand horizontally which was exactly the same as holding control and zooming in. And if you triple click the scroll wheel, you can expand vertically, which was the same as holding the alt key and scrolling. I'm just gonna finish by showing you some shortcuts for the mixer. So I'm just gonna open up a multi-track for one of our old projects called Breathing. It sounds like this. And obviously this is before mixing and mastering, like in the actual released version. But all of these are being sent to the same mixer channel and none of them are named on the mixer or anything. So if you select all the tracks you want, in this case, the tracks that were pulled in, ignore these four tracks that were already here. If I then press Control, Alt, and L on the master, oops, and then press Control and L, all of the tracks have now been sent to the mixer and named and colored appropriately. And they're all separated out just like that. And from there you could apply effects to them and start the actual mix process. One, one thing that I like to do that a few people have asked about is selecting the master channel, pressing Control, Alt and L selects all the channels and then you can move their volumes up and down together. And this is good at the start of the mix when you want to gain stage properly. Oh. That is all of my shortcut keys and sort of tips and tricks that I use to work faster. Like I said, there will be a workflow video and there will also be a beginner to FL Studio video that will cover navigating all of this properly in case you're just completely lost with these videos. If you guys have any tips, tricks or shortcuts that you use that you didn't see me use, please just comment down below. I will also be doing a video specific to just the piano roll and also specific just to Edison shortcuts. But uh, doing that in this video would have just made this video far, far too long. Don't forget to stay tuned for that giveaway that we're going to be doing soon. Go and like over on the Facebook page for help and support over there too. And until the next video, see ya.